Okay, what's up YouTube? My name is Galen and this is Galen's Gadget. So I want to thank you so much for joining my channel today. And if you have not already, please do not forget to like and subscribe if you want to keep seeing videos on tech just like this one. So today we're going to be talking about these two watches that I have in front of me. To the left, I have the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. To the right, I have the Fossil Generation 6. So um, I decided to compare these two watches. I'm actually not going to be comparing the watches. I'm going to be comparing the software on these two watches. So Samsung has a proprietary skin on top of Wear OS called One UI Watch. And the uh, Fossil Gen 6 has stock Wear OS 3, which is um, what Google makes directly. And uh, Fossil basically just threw it on their watch. Um, Samsung took Wear OS and made their own version of it. That is the difference, and that is what I'm going to be comparing. We're just going to see which one is better in certain scenarios. So uh, I'm not going to hold you any longer. Let's hop into this video. I'm about to be on. Been on this mission since I first left home. Back up my bags like I'm grown. Told myself to show myself to do no wrongs. Like, I'm about to be on. Been on this mission since I first left home. Back up my bags like Alright, so the first thing that I'm going to do is um, just compare the software versions that both of these watches have. Um, first off, I will say that um, they are on the latest version. Um, I just made sure of that uh, they're both running the latest version that they support currently. Um, so first off, the Fossil Gen 6, it's running Wear OS 3. I believe it's actually 3.2. Um, I actually believe I saw 3.2 before, but they may have changed it back to 3 because... Um, the difference between 3.2 and 3.5 is pretty drastic, um, especially with um, this watch not having um, Google Assistant support and uh, a lot of the health uh, syncing features are not available. Um, I really think Fossil fumbled the bag on in that regard. Um, it is on the latest uh, November security patch though. Uh, in terms of the Galaxy Watch, um, this is actually running one UI Watch 4.5. Again, One UI Watch is a different software than Wear OS. Uh, it's basically a skin over Wear OS, uh, but they are running the latest version of Wear OS, which is uh, 3.5. So um, that's really good. I'm really happy that Samsung has um, done actually really great with updates. I feel like it's even been better than uh, Google's own Pixel Watch that they released here recently. Um, I feel like I get something every month um, telling me to update something on my watch. And um, I know pretty early on, it definitely was like hitting the battery life uh, for for like the positive um i was getting like better battery with each of these updates so i really like how samsung is refining the uh, software experience with every single update and it's something that they're doing with all of their wear os watches so the galaxy 4 and the galaxy 5 um software support is definitely going to be um better in when you watch and when you why watch um over wear os so definitely got to give it to samsung Okay, so um, now I'm just going to talk about just the basic user interface of these watches. Again, Wear OS 3 on the Fossil, One UI Watch, One UI watch on the uh, Galaxy. So um, on both of them, when you uh, press and hold like on the watch face, you get options to uh, change your watch face as well as customize at the bottom. Uh, Wear OS is as a pencil and then Samsung is just as customized. Um, I think the Samsung is just a little more user friendly uh, just because it says customize. Everyone doesn't know that a pencil means customize in 2022. So, yeah, um, I will say um, Samsung usually suggests more of their custom watch faces um, on this screen, um, such as like bitmojis and different things like that. OK, so um, when you swipe down you get your quick toggles. So uh, there is a difference in quick toggles, as you can see. Um, Google's is vertically based, uh, Samsung's is horizontally based. So if you have more quick toggles on your uh, Wear OS watch, when you swipe up, you'll get an extra few. So it's I have 11 right now on the Wear OS watch, but um, on the Samsung watch, swiping left to right gives you the extra quick toggle option. So. Yeah, and you could uh, edit them from this screen. I don't think you could do that on actual Wear OS. You have to like go into the menus or your app or whatever and adjust the uh, quick toggles there. Yeah, you can't do it from this screen at all um, on regular Wear OS. Um, oh, and one thing I have to bring up, 
the uh, do not disturb toggle on regular Wear OS, it actually doesn't work. Um, it doesn't sync with your phone, but the, the do not disturb button right here does not sync with your phone. So um, if you enable do not disturb, like on your watch, it won't transfer to your phone. If you do it on the Samsung watch, it actually does and vice versa. So if you enable do not disturb, like on your phone, it will go over to the uh, One UI watch, uh, Samsung watch, and it won't do the same um on a regular Wear OS watch so that's a major difference actually okay so here is where the difference like really lies um in the basic user interface so when you swipe up on a Wear OS watch like a regular Wear OS watch it will give you your notifications when you swipe up on a Samsung it will give you um your apps it gives you your app drawer so um these are like apps that I have pre-installed on my Galaxy watch and then of course, these are my notifications over on the uh, Fossil uh, running just regular bare boned Wear OS. Um, I actually prefer the vertical um, landscape of it mainly because um, I could just scroll all the way down, do like a quick scroll and then hit clear all if I know what all my notifications are. But on Samsung, you get one notification at a time via a card. So I have to like go over, keep going, keep going, keep going, and then hit clear all. Um, but one advantage that Samsung does have over uh, Wear OS is that like, as you can see right here, uh, there's a picture. So for like different apps or something, and there's like a, you get a notification with a picture involved. Samsung 99% of the time will like add the picture on here. You see the full screen, like on your watch. Um, on regular Wear OS, that does not happen. You have to like open up the, notification to see everything um i just prefer i prefer i wish wear os had um i wish wear os had the option to like see the full picture in your notifications but um i wish um uh, i wish samsung was like still vertically oriented notifications I actually have to swipe through each one individually like read multiple and swipe through them vertically um on the regular wear os watch um and when you swipe to the left you get your cards um that's going to be very similar so yeah the card ui is very similar um samsung has some for their like samsung specific apps but for the most part uh your um, actual like cards and or widgets some people call them will be extremely similar when navigating um, your basic user interface it's really a preference thing okay so in terms of animations um it's super smooth on both watches um as you can see let's just open agenda go back yeah animations the open and close animations are really quick and smooth um same thing on the uh one ui watch on the samsung everything is just really smooth and well put together looks pretty good don't really see too much of a difference um i think the samsung animations are like a little more exaggerated so the animations are, um, are a little slower than the um regular world OS animations but um it's really a preference thing I think all the animations look good. This was a huge step in the right direction um, in Wear OS um, 3. Samsung was the first watch with it and then Google um, added their own pixelish user interface and um, all the animations look uh, pretty smooth now. Um, another major difference is the app drawer. Um, you do have multiple options for the app drawer in Samsung, but by default you get like the little, um, you get the little icons, but you get a list like in the um, regular Wear OS, but on Samsung, let's swipe up. You get all these little icons. Um, I believe you could change that. Let's see what it looks like on in the list version. Okay, so um, I actually can't change the um, app layout um, on the Samsung watch. So if you don't like uh, those icons, um, then it kind of just sucks. You do not get the list version. Um, on the Galaxy Watch, if you know how to change it, um, just let me know. Um, I thought you could, but apparently you can't. I like Googled it and everything and couldn't find it. But um, yeah, now we're just going to go to settings. Um, so first off, just like the setting menus, I think uh, it does look like more user friendly on the Samsung just because of the use of color, like in the icons next to the um, like section. 
and i do feel that the samsung settings are more organized um some of the settings in the um regular wear os just takes longer to get to samsung is just like really like up front and just in your face um in terms of the user interface of the settings menu um settings are pretty similar you don't get too many extras in either um i saw that uh you could adjust like your health profile sections in regular wear os right there uh, meanwhile in the galaxy watch you could like uh adjust your samsung health settings um from the settings menu so um it's really a preference thing but personally i like the setting layout in um in one you watch in one ui um a lot more and um just an example um i feel like they have way more just toggles in um, one ui so you could just literally press the toggle while in regular wear os um, let me go to the display settings um it's just like more sections so you actually have to like go into something to adjust it like brightness and yeah it's only one toggle while samsung had like multiple just in the display section that's just an example i just feel like um samsung was a lot more refined which is kind of weird because when a lot of people think about it they think of google being like the super organized software company and they think of samsung just like being bloatware and adding way too many features but i definitely feel like samsung has a more refined experience in the settings menu okay so i'm going to wrap this video up now if you guys have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments and um i'll try to respond to them maybe via a youtube short or uh, just respond to the comments straight up but um overall uh wear os versus uh one ui watch um there is no like real clear advantage in terms of just like the visuals and um the user interface of the two um they're very similar but i just feel like samsung is more upfront and straightforward um things are just really easier to find um just in general like whether it be in the settings menus or even icons i feel like the out, uh, icons are just more out front and more in your face and just bigger uh than things like the uh like uh world west material you uh, that's a preference thing but i just prefer having things like more um up front and in my face um in terms of just like the performance uh there's really no difference um both of them run extremely smooth the animations on both of them are great really no hiccup or stutter uh because both of these are really like up-to-date watches for the most part um i will say um in terms of just like software longevity i do feel like one ui uh what i'll just say one ui um has the advantage right now um just mainly because um this is like the most updated watch that i've ever had we regularly get these monthly updates for security as well as a few features here and there um just samsung is working um way harder than they ever have um on the one ui watch um, their version of Wear OS than a uh, regular Wear OS has been. Um, we don't know. There's a lot of uncertainty about um, how often Fossil will update their watches in the future, how often Mobvoi will update their watches in the future, because it's very rare that they get updates. They get like, say, one to two updates a year for the most part. Um, Google will probably do better because it is um, Wear OS is a Google product and um they make all the refinements and changes and um future updates and everything that wear os contains um so google will definitely be the only people to keep up with samsung in terms of updates but the other wear os watches the other watches that run wear os such as the fossils the mont blancs the uh the map voice um all of those skagen uh, motorola all of those other manufacturers they've uh, proven time and time again that they are not updating their watches for the most part so that's where samsung has a clear and um just upfront advantage um i don't know when they're gonna stop updating the galaxy watch 4 classic but i'm still getting updates um actually like right before i filmed this video i had an update so um yeah software support is gonna be better on these samsung's long term at least currently anyway until i hear something else so yeah if you guys have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments i'm gonna wrap this video up now again thank you so much for watching i'm gonna try to push out some more content so stay tuned